A few years ago, I was still a practicing emergency physician in a small rural town in Slovenia. This was a little over a decade since Slovenia joined the European Union. As I looked over my overfilled, overflowing emergency room, I thought, this is not the future we were promised. We were understaffed. My patients were struggling to find jobs. And people in this region were not much healthier that day than they were a couple of decades ago. So does joining the EU actually improve population health? And if yes, does it improve it for everyone or just for some groups and for some regions? Critically, what happens to towns like mine that seem to have been left behind globalization and all of the benefits of EU integration? I set out to answer some of these questions in my PhD. And today, I'm very happy to share three key lessons that I've learned. First, joining the EU does not actually automatically improve population health. If we compare the new member states, we see, we see massive differences between how they're doing. Estonia, for example, has seen rapid mortality improvements. On the other hand, mortality in Hungary seems to have stagnated since they joined the EU. National characteristics and national policies seem to really play a crucial role in whether countries are able to use the benefits of EU and translate them in population health improvements. Secondly, population and uh, political and economic unions can improve population health. German reunification almost erased any differences between mortality in East and West Germany. But why did it work there? By modeling regional mortality in, uh, in Germany, I managed to show that the process worked there because Germany managed to invest in both places, building infrastructure, improving hospitals, as well as people by improving its social welfare system. Lastly, a closer social union would be a game changer for mortality disparities within the European Union. My simulation of retiree health in four different European countries shows that by embracing a policy like the minimum European pension, Eastern European member states could draw much closer to Western Europe. Now, of course, this opens new questions and I'm very excited to pursue them. However, by focusing on health impacts of European integration, by learning from past experience, my work shows that if we imagine a more progressive European Union, if we pr imagine a more bold European Union, there's so much more we can do for health equity across Europe. Thank you very much.